Hello students. Today we will work on parabolas. These are 10 questions from parabolas that would work for both the SET and the ACT. If you're doing this as an SAT set, then you may use the calculator. So let's begin. Question one, the vertex of y is equal to x minus one whole squared plus b has coordinates one comma three. What is the y-intercept of this parabola? So we can see that this is the vertex form of the parabola, right? The general form being a times x minus h whole squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex. So since this is already in the general form, and if we compare it to the coordinates of the vertex, we can see that b will be 3. And so my equation will be x minus 1 whole squared plus 3. Now, to find the y-intercept, I would put x as 0. So the y-intercept would be minus 1 whole squared plus 3, which is 1 plus 3, which is 4. So 4 is the y-intercept for this parabola. OK, um, question 2. If one root of x squared plus 2x minus c is equal to 0, is x equal to 1? What is the value of c? So here we can actually substitute x equal to one in the equation because we know that one root of this equation is one. So we'll get one squared plus two times one minus c is zero. So one plus two minus c is zero or c is equal to three. So the value of c is three. Okay. Um, Question three, what is the vertex of the parabola represented by the equation y is equal to x squared plus two ax plus a, right? Now, there are a number of ways in which we can do this. One way is we can look at the vertex x coordinate h as given by minus b by two a, where the equation is given in the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So if we put that, then my b is 2a and my a is 1. So, so that just becomes minus a, right? So minus a is the x coordinate. And for the y coordinate, I'll simply put x equal to minus a here. So minus a whole squared plus 2a into minus a plus a, which is a squared minus 2a squared plus a, which is a minus a squared. So minus a comma a minus a squared is my vertex option C. So that's the first method, right? Where we use the standard equation and we use the concept of the x coordinate of the vertex being minus b by 2a. The other method that can be used is to complete the squares. So let's look at the second method. y is x squared plus 2ax plus a. So I work with these two. I can see that if I add a squared here, then these three terms will become x plus a, the whole squared, x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. So since I've added a squared, I subtract a squared and a was already here. So these three terms are x plus a, the whole squared and a minus a squared is already there. Now the general equation of the vertex form is x minus h whole squared plus k where h comma k is the vertex. So if we compare, h becomes negative a and k becomes a minus a squared. And that is option C. So you can use either of the two methods to find the vertex. Okay, question four, which is an equation of the quadratic function shown in the diagram. So I can see that my uh, x intercepts are minus three and one. So the equation will be of the kind a times x plus three into x plus one, right? So I can eliminate c and d directly. 
Now between A and B, I have to find the value of A. So I can use the y-intercept six, which means I'll put x as zero and y will become six. So six is A times three times one, which is three A. So A becomes two. And so the equation of the function is two times x plus three into x plus one, which is option B. Question five, the parabola defined by the equation y is equal to x minus one whole squared minus four intersects the x axis at points P and Q. Um, if AB is the midpoint of the line segment PQ, what is the value of A? So if you think about it, we are given the vertex form of the parabola and the vertex will be one comma negative four. So let's say this point is one comma negative four, right? And it intersects the x-axis. So let's say this is how it would look. Let's say, right? So not a very good diagram. So let's say this is P and this is Q, right? And the midpoint of PQ is A comma B then we can know that because the parabola is symmetrical about the vertical line passing through the vertex, which means it is symmetrical about the line x equal to one, the points P and Q would be equidistant from the line x equal to one because the x-intercepts will be symmetrical about the uh, vertex, right? And so, the midpoint of P and Q, which is A comma B, will have the X value as one. A will be one and B will be zero because it lies on the X axis. So the point A comma B is one comma zero. And so the value of A is one, right? This is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, which is slightly longer is let me show it to you. Yeah, the other way of doing it is to actually find the x-intercepts and then the midpoint. So how can we find the x-intercept? We can write y as x minus one whole square minus four, which is x squared minus two x plus one minus four. One second, which is x squared minus 2x minus 3. And if we split the middle term, this will become x uh, minus 3 into x plus 1, right? That's what we will get. So then we can know that point Q will be 3 comma 0 and point P will be minus 1 comma 0. And so A, which is the midpoint, x coordinate of the midpoint will be three minus one by two, which is one, the same value that we got earlier. So you can use the concept of symmetry about the line x equal to one, or you can actually find the x-intercepts. The answer will be a equal to one. Okay, let's do question six. The parabola with equation y is equal to x minus two whole squared minus 16 has vertex at A and intersects the x-axis at B as shown. Determine the slope of the line passing through A and B. Okay, so this is the vertex form and the vertex is two comma negative 16. So A is two comma negative 16. Now to find the x-intercepts, we'll solve this. x minus two whole squared minus 16 x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 16, x squared minus 4x minus 12. So we split the middle term, x squared minus 6x plus 2x minus, minus 12, uh, minus 12. So x minus 6 into x plus 2. So since b is to the right of the origin, b will be 6 comma 0. Right, and this point will be negative two comma zero, right? 
So now we have the coordinates of A and B. So the slope of the line for AB will be, the formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So I'm just taking B as x2, y2 and A as x1, y1. So zero minus of minus 16, which is 16 divided by four, which is four. So the slope is option C. Okay, question seven, which of the following is an X coordinate for the point of intersection of the graphs for Y is equal to X minus four and Y is equal to two mod X. So Y is equal to X square minus four is just a parabola with vertex at zero comma negative four, right? And y is equal to 2 mod x will be 2x when x is greater than or equal to 0. And it would be minus 2x when x is less than 0. So that will look something like this. y is 2x. And this is y is negative 2x when x is negative. So these are the points of intersection, right? So we can just solve for the parabola with this side because we notice that all the values of the options are positive. So we can just solve for the positive X coordinate. So let's do that. Okay, so we get um, X square minus four is equal to two X. So x squared minus 2x minus 4 is 0. We use the discriminant formula minus b, which is 2, plus minus square root of b squared 4 minus 4 into a into c divided by 2a. So that's 2 plus minus square root of uh, 4 plus 16, 20 by 2, which is 2 plus minus. 2 root 5 by 2, which is 1 plus minus root 5. So from the options, 1 plus root 5 will be the right answer, right? <clears throat> okay, so that was question 7. Question 8. The endpoints of the diameter of a circle are the points of intersection of the parabolas this and this determine the coordinates of the center of the circle. Okay, so let's just find the points of intersection for these two parabolas. So we can have x squared minus three is minus x squared minus two x plus nine. So two x squared plus two x minus 12 is zero, divide by two. So x squared plus x minus six is zero. So x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 is 0. So x plus 3 into x minus 2 is 0. So x is negative 3 and 2, right? So what will be the points of intersection when x is negative 3? Why? So I'm using this one. I can use either, but I'm using this. Uh, x squared minus 3, which is 9 minus 3, which is 6. So one point is uh, nine minus three, which is six. So one point is minus three comma six. And when X is two, Y is X square minus three, which is four minus three, which is one. So the other point is two comma one. Three are the points of intersection. And these happen to be the endpoints of the diameter of a circle. So, the center of the circle will be the midpoint of these two. So let's do that. Okay, so the center, the X value will be minus three plus two by two minus one by two, which is minus 0 
and the y value will be 6 plus 1 by 2, which is 7 by 2, which is 3.5. So the center of the circle is minus 0 0.5, 0 3.5, option C. Okay. Question 9, the parabola y is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 is translated 5 units to the right. In this new position, the equation of the parabola is this, determine the value of t. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. The first is I can just see that this parabola x square minus 4x plus 3 will be x minus 1 into x minus 3, which means that it has x intercepts at 1 comma 0 and 3 comma 0. So it will look something like this. And I'm moving it five units to the right. So this will one will go to six and three will go to eight. This will be my new parabola. So the equation of this parabola will be x minus six into x minus eight, x squared minus 14x plus 48. And if I compare that with my equation, then d is just 48, okay? So that was straightforward and we could have done that in this case because it was pretty simple to find the x-intercepts and then move the parabola five units to the right. But a faster method is because I'm moving the parabola five units to the right, I would replace x by x minus five in the equation, right? Five units to the right indicates replacement of x by x minus five. Five units to the left indicates replacement of x by x plus five. So here I'll do y is equal to x minus five, the whole squared, minus four times x minus five plus three. So x squared minus 10x plus 25, minus four x plus 20 plus three, so x squared minus 14x minus 10 minus 4 plus uh, 48, right? So I'm getting the same equation that I got when I shifted them to 6 comma 0 and 8 comma 0 and D becomes 48, right? Okay, so that was question 9. And then we do the last question of this drill. Um, in the diagram, the parabola cuts the y-axis at the point 0, 8, cuts the x-axis at point 2, 0, and 4, 0, and passes through the point a, 8. What is the value of a? Okay, so if I draw a line which is symmetrical and passes through the vertex, then I know that this line will be x equal to 3 because that will be the midpoint of the x-intercept, right? So at this level, at the level of the y value being eight, the two points will be equidistant from the line x equal to three, right? So I'm going negative three when I go from three to zero. So I'll go positive three when I go from three to a equal to six, right? Because when both the y coordinates are eight, it means that those two points are equidistant from the line x equal to three, which is the line that passes through the vertex. Zero comma eight is three units to the left of x equal to three, because three minus three is zero. So a comma eight would be three units to the right of x equal to three, which makes a equal to six. Right, so that was the parabola's drill. Hope you found it useful. Um, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let your friends know about the channel and help it grow. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.